Hi, I am Deshaun, and this is my Vlogmas. So, my ride, he just called, and I went outside to see if he was out there already, because he, when I talked to him um, yesterday, he told me that um, he was going to come a little bit early. So, I went out there to see if... Um, if he was out there or whatever. He wasn't out there. So I was just standing out there in the cold. And the yard man, he out there. And, you know, you know, say good morning, whatever we do. So then my ride, he called me. He said, he said, are you ready? I said, yes, I'm, I'm ready. He said, okay, I'm on my way. I was like, okay. He said, I'm going to call you when I'm outside. He said, so you can go go and wait on the inside. So, because he's telling me that he's going to call me when he pull up, that lets me know he's not close. <laughs> I hope he is close, y'all, because I don't want to be late. Y'all know I do not like being late for now, I think. Okay, y'all, let me tell y'all about when... My ride came. He, you know, he told me he was outside, and I'm glad that he picked me up in time. Cause y'all know I hate being late. So he picked me up, and um, I walked outside. And my neighbor, he was standing outside, and I told him good morning. You know, we said good morning to each other and everything, and we started laughing because if his girlfriend was out there, she would have been screaming at him to pick me up and put me in. The ride, so we we was laughing because we were thinking the same thing. Cause baby, when I tell y'all, she screamed at him for him to put me, pick me up and put me in the house, pick me up, put me in the car. She always want him to pick me up. I don't know why. I don't know why, y'all. I don't. And I, he doesn't know why either. But uh, so my ride, he hopped out and he opened up the door for me, and he asked me. He was like, "You want me to pick you up?" I was like, nah, yeah, I had to, you know, we spoke to each other and everything. And see, the thing is, it is kind of hard to get in big vehicles like trucks and vans and stuff like that. It is kind of hard because, cause I don't know, because I'm short, so I have to climb up in the mugs. And the drivers, you know, they be like, let me go and pick this little girl, little, little sis. That's what they be thinking, right? So... I was like, no, you don't have you don't have to. I was like, I got it. So I sat down and he got in and you know, we started talking and everything. And uh he told me he was like, I missed you. I was like, it did. He was like, Yeah. And I was like, Yeah, it's been six months since the last time you uh seen me. He said, Yeah, he said, So how's everything going? I was like, uh, oh, everything's straight. And he was like, So he was like who was that dude? That was your brother? Okay, he think he's slick. He think he's slick. See, he gonna ask me, was that my brother? And he know that was not my brother. He trying to find out if that was my man. That's what he was trying to find out. But you know, you know, I, I peep game. I told him, I said, no, that's my neighbor. And he was like, oh, okay. I said, yeah, he, um. I said, he, he always uh, makes sure that I'm okay. And he was like, oh, well, that's cool. So, he was like, you know, me and him was talking, and it was just, it was funny. You know, the, the dude, I was looking at him, you know, he, <sighs> yeah, let me tell you something. You can tell he works out. You can tell he works out. And, you know, so after my infusion and he picked me up, we talked some more. And come to find out that, um, well, he was telling me that his business is doing well because he has his own business. And um, uh I asked him where did he live, and he told me where he lived, and I was like, okay. I said, so do you have 
kids. And he was like, no, I don't have kids. He say he don't have kids, but I don't believe him because y'all know how men like to lie and everything. And by looking at him, and he's such a sweet guy, like, I know he has to have kids or whatever, but it's none of my business if he didn't want me to know if he had kids or not. And uh, he was asking me, he was like, dude, like when he picked me up, he was like, are you hungry? I was like, yeah, a little bit. He was like, you want to stop and get something to eat? I was like, no. I was like, we don't have to. He was like, if you want something to eat, we're going to stop and get something to eat. And he was telling me um, about these different restaurants and everything that's in the area because I don't know nothing about no restaurants. I haven't been to a restaurant in forever. And in this area, I don't know about none of the restaurants. And, um, I asked him, I said, do you cook? And he said, um, normally he does not cook. I said, well, does your girlfriend cook or your wife? And he started laughing. He was like, he was like, no, he's single. I said, right. He said, yeah, I am. I said, I don't believe that. He was like, why you don't believe it? I said, I just don't believe it. And he was like, yeah, I'm, I'm single. It's me by myself. He said, so I don't cook. I said, can you cook? He said that his sister been uh, trying to teach him to cook. I said, right, your sister is trying to teach you to cook. He said, yeah, my sister. I said, so how's she doing that? She come over to your house every day? He was like, no, they, they do it over the phone or whatever. He said he set the phone up and she tell him what to do and, and you know, he said he been practicing cooking. He said because he do want to learn how to cook. He says so that when he do find a woman, he can cook for her. And I said, okay. I said, so what do you think about the cooking so far? Is it something that you enjoy doing? He said he enjoyed learning it. And I said, what about uh, cleaning? I said, do you like to clean? He was like, it's not that he likes to clean, he said, but he cleans because he wants stuff to be clean. He said, well, like he told me what he do every day and every night. And he said he just works, 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 works. So when when he is at home, when he get home, he makes sure the laundry is done. He makes sure his clothes are earned. And, you know, I was like, Okay, cool, cool. I said, that's what's up. And y'all, I, I do not believe that this man does not have any kids. So he's like, you want to stay with me for the day? I said, what you mean, stay with you for the day? He was like, you just want to run errands with me and stuff for the day. I was like, I got to get back home to my kids. I said, because I do have kids. He said, I know. He said, you got two girls, right? I said, yeah. He asked me how they was doing and everything. And uh, I was like, now I got to get home to my kids. He told me, well, let me stop and get y'all something to eat. And I was like, from where? He's like, I want you to try food from where I'm from because he's not American. So uh, he said, I want you to try food from where I'm from. And he said, there's a restaurant that has food. They make food the way we make food. And I was like, uh, I was like, okay. And um, his phone rang and they, it was somebody calling saying they need a ride, whatever, woo, woo. And he said, you want to ride me to, uh, to pick her up? I said, yeah, that's cool. So we went to go pick the girl up and we pick her up, y'all. And I felt so bad because she was like, she was so cold like she was shaking and um i said it's cold out there huh she said yeah it is and um uh, i don't know y'all know i'm a talker so i got to talking to her found out y'all me and her have the same exact birthday yes i was like okay and then he all up in our business listening to what me and her talking about and he told us his birthday so he a virgo too i'm like 
Listen, everybody up in here, Virgo team, Virgo, whatever, through. You know, we we started getting, you know, crunk and excited and everything. So, uh, we dropped her off, and he was like, uh, what, what, what he was telling me about the different foods that they make, and I, t I told him, I said, you really don't have to, uh, pick me up nothing to eat. I said because. My nurse, my caregiver, she, she's not from here, and she from the same place you're from, and she cooks some some of y'all meals for me. And he was like, "What?" I said, "Yeah." He was like, "Well, do you like them?" I said, "Yeah, I like the ones that she cooks because I'm sitting there watching her cook it, and I know what it is or whatever." And he was like, "Okay, okay." He said, but one day I do want to take you to this restaurant so you can see how you like it. He said, because she might not make it the same way. She might make it differently. She might not make the different meals. I said, okay, cool. So, you know, he took me home. And when we got there, you know, he was like, uh, he was like, are you going to call me? And I told him, I said, yeah, if I need a ride. <laughs> he told me, no, you don't just have to call me for a ride. He said, you can call me if you're hungry or if you want to go hang out. He said, I'll pick up you and the girls so we can go wherever you want to. I said, no, because you, you work all day. And when you get home, you be tired. And he said, well, I'll take a day off for y'all. I was like, no, you don't have to do that. And he's like, but I want to. And I asked him, like, I was just curious, y'all. I'm just real nosy. And I asked him, I said, how old are you? Because to me, he looks young. And y'all know how I feel about young boys. So I was like, how old are you? Y'all, he told me his age. Y'all know I like older men. Y'all know I like older men. But I did not believe him. I said, you are not. You are not that old. He was like, I am. I said, let me see your ID. And I didn't think he was going to show it to me, but he showed me his ID, y'all. He is an older man. He just takes care of himself, and that's why he looks so young. Like, he looks younger than me, y'all. And I was just like, wow. I was like, so what do you eat? And he, he told me, you know, since it's just him at the house, he eat whatever, you know, his sister, you know, teaches him to cook or whatever. And I, I was just thinking, I'm like, man, like maybe I should let him take me to this restaurant so I can try that food. And so I could start eating that food and plus have my nurse keep on making those meals for us. Because y'all know I like home cooked food anyways. I'd rather not eat from a restaurant, but so that I can try the different foods and everything. I was like, if it, because my nurse, y'all, she looks pretty young too. And I'd be wanting to ask her her age, but you know, I think she's older than me, but I'm not sure because she looks pretty young, but I don't want to ask her because I don't want to be rude or anything, but he is older than me, but he looks younger than me. So... Same thing with her. She looks pretty young, but she could be older. I don't know, and um, maybe I should get into changing the way I eat, like the stuff that she's been cooking for me. Like I, I teach her how to cook American food, and she teaches me how to cook food from where she's from. So. You know, it works out for me and her. And, but she, like, really, really likes the American food. Like, even her husband, because when she cooking for him, he likes it. And her husband be telling me, you know, I like the way American food is. And I'm like, but all American food is not like this. I was like, this is just the way I make it. I say, every American does not cook the same way. And, you know, he, he wants me to keep teaching his wife. American food and I want her to keep teaching me how to cook their food, you know So we just try different things or whatever, 
but her husband is pretty nice too y'all like i've i've talked to her husband and i'm like maybe that's how the men are where they're from they're just like really really nice and fit and look good and, it's a whole nother subject y'all but yeah men oh dude we have fun uh he told me to call him whenever i want to he said just don't call me for no ride he said call me for anything so we'll see i said i said i don't think it's right that i have to call you when you have my number and you don't never call me and he was like uh, he didn't want to be disrespectful with the woo, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, yeah, I hear you. But I don't know. I'm probably not going to call him because y'all know I'm not no phone person. And I don't know if if he likes to text. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. And I don't believe that he don't have no kids because you can't look like that and be that age and not have kids. Like, I don't know. But then again, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to think about him right now. I'm erased, delete, delete. I don't, I don't want to think about it. But yeah, that's how it was with my driver taking me to go get my infusion. He's a gentleman. He's sweet. He's funny. He's He got personality. He's He's goofy and he looks very nice for his age. I he said that's his age. He showed me his ID, but I still don't believe it because y'all he looks amazing. But anyway, uh, I don't want to think about him. I don't want to think about him. I don't. I don't know. Cause y'all know I fall in love easily. I start liking people too easily. No, 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 no. And y'all y'all know my brother, what he talking about. Talking about I be flirting with everybody, and that's not true. I do not flirt with everybody. I'm just a friendly person. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for watching.